Hey guys, today I'm going to show you all how to make a pop pun -a or Adderall or Corvette Corvette inspired by lighting, a song that's been blowing up on TikTok lately. And yeah, so I actually have something already laid out that I was working on. I'm kind of going to go over like how I created this melody, so I'll play it first. <laughs> Basically, the first thing I did, I started off with a pluck. So we're gonna go here, <clears throat> and this is the melody for the pluck. So I just started with the these notes right here, the C, C, D, D, E, and then I went back and I made it descend, so I ascend, and then I descend to E, E, D, C, and then I add these little, like filler notes here, so I'm gonna be like. It gives like a little transition to it. Nice little transition between each chord phrase. Then I just copied the root notes or whatever you want to call them again up here to another octave. Then I added these other notes right here. And then these top ones are what's, is what gives it its like the melodic touch to it or like the, I don't know, something. And then when you change it up. So that's what I did first. Um, the pluck I used was, fuck, this hyper pop pluck that is in my void serum bank with one shark boy or shark boy. It sounds like this. Okay, and then I layered that right here with the mallet, mallet pluck. So I just layered it. I raised it up the whole phrase, the whole melody of the mallet. I just raised it up by an octave. So it gives it like more tones I guess and I added these little filler notes right here. Right and then this Uzi ARP, pretty popular ARP. That's from Electra's stock preset. It's from the arpeggiator library called Glass Morph. And this is the melody I put for it. You can hear it in the Adderall song when it has it. I mean, it's inspired by it, right? And then I made a vocal chop. So the vocal chop originally was like this. Actually, hold on. Okay, we'll go to the vocal chop. We're gonna take off the shape of here. chopped it up and made this then I added the shaper box to it I mean you don't really need to do it but it sounds cool with it it's like a little bit of a ducking or whatever it's kind of similar to kickstart I have this filter make it a little bit more interesting so it's not boring also so it won't be too oppressive when it has other layers on it. It's kind of just one of the vocal elements in there, but not too much of it. And then after that, go to the second part of the sample. I made a lead, a lead melody. My bad. Ooh. Okay. Got this lead right here, and this lead is the Baser lead from Adapt for my Adapt Serum Kit with Bart Howe. And then it goes like this. This is the melody for the lead. Okay, and then 
really do much to it. Show you all what I did for the mixing after. And then the last sound that I used was this art right here from Electra, the Wide Trans MF single layer art. I like it. It's pretty cool. It's like a, it has like a high pass or low pass, like that, or and like just keeps sweeping. So I really fuck with it. Gives a nice trancey EMS feel. Very generic, but I fuck with it. Yeah, so that's it, and then you guys can kind of see right here how I'll, I laid it out. I'm just gonna pause the sample right here. So this is how I laid it out. So it's not oh, my computer's dying. All right. Well, anyways, for the mixing for the lead, all I did was adding, I added some reverb. I cut off some of the high end for the pluck. I added some whitening, stereo whitening. I did some little, the little altar boy, it's like pitch or format manipulator or whatever. And I just raised it a bit to make it a little bit higher, the frequencies, and I EQ'd it. For the Uzi ARP, or actually for the this ARP right here, the Razer ARP, this. For this, I added again some of this right here. So whitening, some super VHS, some flavor or whatever, some reverb. And then I cut off the high end. So it really wasn't much, anyways, but still. Okay, and then for the Uzi Arp. Again, I boosted the, the highs or whatever. I don't even know what the fuck this does, but I like how little textures that adds to it. I did a pancake so it can kind of spread to the sides or whatever. Some reverb. And then again, just some EQ or whatever. Okay, and then for the vocals. The shaper box that y'all saw. Some whitening. And pancake. I don't know if that really affects it or not, but fuck it, dude. Do whatever the fuck you want. Some saturation and distortion so I can cut through the mix. Some reverb and then some EQ as well. And then the final sound was the pluck, which actually has two versions right here. So I did a, a high version where I raised it one octave. And just some retro color, some reverb, and then some EQing, and then in this part I actually lowered it by the one octave to the original octave of the original plucks. Right. So yeah, that's basically the sample. I mean, it's pretty basic to be honest. Nothing crazy. I mean, they always see simple is better. I don't know how I feel about that. I like making things kind of crazy and extra, but simple works in this case. I mean, the pop on the song is pretty simple. It has some interesting layers to keep it interesting. It has the ARP, has the chords, and it has like a lead, and it has the little box in it. So this is more my like interpretation of it, like what I would do if I were to make a song. I mean, a sample for him or whatever. So yeah. So I think we're gonna make a beat with it now. <laughs> Yo, Santetti, you plugged in.